I'm sorry. It's your girl, Nicola Diggins here. So, it happened again. See the mess I'm in? Six o'clock. I'm in so much time. It's the pain's coming back. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, though. I'm trying. I'm working hard. So, I do my walk. Talk to the tech then. Say, okay. It's time for pain meds. Time for pain meds. I need help. Did I get it? No. Shift change is more important. I didn't have it. It is now. Quarter of eight. Then I just got my medicine. So it'll be another hour before I feel better. This is what happens when we take visitors from home, from the hospital. We get ignored. Happens every time I'm here. So I guess it's time to start calling the doctor while I'm in the hospital. Or being asked to be taken down to the ER so somebody can help me because I'm not important enough on this, on this, on this floor. Sorry. My tummy keeps doing this, going like this because I'm, because I keep crying and I can't stop because it hurts. And so when it does that, it just gets worse. So I wanted to let you guys know. I'm in a great room. Beautiful room, though. Okay. Beautiful room. Still can't get the medical help you need from the nurse that, you know, they know better than you do, and they're not done. Ship change more. I'm, I'm busy. It's always, I'm busy. If you're this fucking busy... There needs to be some new nurses on the floors. Sorry. But if they're that, they're that, that busy, that my nurse has spent a total of 35 minutes in my room today. Because I've been timing it. Because I'm like, okay, this is starting to get bad again. And I'm on the surgery floor, so they even know. I have tubes, tubes, literally tubes. Hanging from my stomach because that's how you pee and I and like I said more than one tubes now each one of these tubes Has these little tubes irrigation tubes that come off of them that you have to watch and take care of so tubes Each one of that each line the two lines has four extra little tubes that go inside of me and they suck So you would think, you know, I mean, it was an eight-hour surgery. I've cut open. I've got, like, 20, 25 staples in my stomach. 25. I think I'm valid in saying that I need the pain meds when I need them. Especially if they're within the time period that I'm allowed to have them. This is abuse. Complete abuse. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. We don't do this to people. Any people. This is wrong. And if you're really that busy on a floor that you can't get your job done, then more people need to be hired. And there's a lot of people out of work right now. So let's get them to work. A lot of people want to get to work right now. Let's get them back to work. I'm done. That's why I'm making this video. This is appalling. This is apprehensible. You don't do this. I am sorry. I'm white. I guess that's what it is. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Maybe we're just not as important anymore. I don't know. Honestly, I just don't care. All I want is to get my medicine on time. And when I ask for it. Especially if I'm asking for it on time. I don't understand why this is so mean. Or why this is so hard. 
I don't understand why every time I go to a hospital, this is how I'm treated. I thought maybe, oh, and maybe it's because people just don't believe me. They just don't believe that I, I hurt like this. Now I know for a fact they can't not believe me. I have 25 staples in my stomach. I don't know what to do. I just yelled at the nurse because I'm mad as hell. I had to wait for shift change. <laughs> Nothing personal? Fuck your shift change! I don't give a shit. I give a shit about the people on this floor. They, I, and I know that if I'm going through this, I can't be the only one. There's no way I'm the only, am I the only one? I can't believe that. Nope, I can't believe that. Oh, I'm too nice. Every time a nurse comes in here, I compliment them. I appreciate them. I thank them. I do the whole nine yards because they are doing an amazing job at what they do do. But when you're not doing stuff, that's wrong. A hundred percent wrong. And I guess we just need to start a conversation. And that's what I want to do. And I want to make this real. And I want to start a conversation. Because this hurts. It hurts not only in my body, but to be freaking ignored for almost two hours. I'm like, holy shit. I know that when I asked for the pain meds, they were just coming due. It may have been ten minutes, ten plus or minus minutes. But I just walked down the hall and I walked a lot further than what I was supposed to. But I walked because I needed to. My legs are stiffening up. I have so much, I'm retaining so much fluid that I had to walk. But I need for them to help me too. I didn't want to do this video. This is not the video I wanted to make. But uh, evidently I need to because I lost my therapist. I lost my psychiatrist because of my insurance. Because now I have better insurance. So we don't want you. You know those guys. All of those ones that did what they did to me when I was a kid. Right? Nobody cares.